I'm Dr. Jim Kirkconnell of Bellevue Eye Care Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, there's a number of people that suffer with uh, what's uh, called dry eye syndrome. And the reason that dry eyes typically happen is because we have uh, three layers of tears in our eyes. And uh, the bottom layer is called mucin. And that's produced by thousands of individual cells on the white part of the eye. And then we have a watery layer that's the middle that comes from the lacrimal gland, which is up here. Uh, that's the one that happens uh, to cause all the watering when we cut onions. And then we have the oily layer on the, on the uh, outside, which keeps the tears from evaporating. Now that comes from sebaceous glands that actually uh, come at the base of the lashes. Uh, most of the time when somebody has a dry eye, it's the mucin cells that are giving out, and it just happens because of age, typically. And um, in order to get comfort, the usual thing to do is to use an, a dry eye product, which is an artificial tear. They, they come in uh, just a regular type of thickness. They come in gel type drops. And then they also come in gels, which are longer lasting, but they blur the vision for uh, anywhere from three to five minutes when you put it on. Um, there's uh, other things to do if you have a severe dry eye. And uh, one thing is uh, we have in the corner of our eye, we have something called a puncta because uh, the, the tears on the bottom, that's called the lacrimal lake, and the tears uh, actually drain into the, um, the, the puncta, into a canal, into the back of the nose. And in order to try to preserve your tears, uh, what we can do in a severe case is we have uh, silicone plugs to, in order to uh, stop up that canal. It stops up 90% of it, and it, it really helps when people have severe problems. Uh, another treatment which has uh, been out for about four years is a drug called Restasis. Now Restasis is an NSAID that is cyclosporin, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a drop, it's not something that's taken orally. And that actually uh, it helps in regards to taking uh, the cells that have given up, the, the, the mucin pr producers that gave up because of inflammation, it will perk them back up given enough time. Uh, it actually takes about three months of treatment of taking a drop morning and evening for this to work, and I've seen it help a number of people. Uh, you do have to remember that it doesn't help you in a week. It takes about three months of treatment for that. Um, other than that, uh, the uh, you know, dry eye can happen from evaporation. Uh, that is uh, when you're in a windy conditions or uh, you just are a person that does a lot of computer work, and when we do uh, intense reading, we don't blink as often, and then the answer, once again, is still artificial tears. Uh, there are two types of dry eye, Then primarily it's either you have a problem with uh, the cells that produce the mucin, or you have evaporative type of dry, of dry eye, and uh, there are different treatments as far as different products, and the uh, goal is to match your problem uh, and try to manage it economically, because each step that is a little bit uh, more long-lasting costs more.